Welcome everyone. This is Mike McGee from Nutanix Technical Marketing. Nutanix Files offers a rich auditing API where applications can subscribe and receive real-time notifications of file-related events. These events include file creation, file deletion, read operations, write operations, permission changes, and other things. Common use of these APIs is forwarding events to something like a syslog server for retention and audit trails. While logging audit trails is useful functionality, simplifying insights into this data is a must. Nutanix developed Nutanix File Analytics in order to consume this native auditing API while also delivering additional insights to the underlying data and user activity. File Analytics captures all file activity for registered file server instances. This logging helps to form an audit trail so administrators can review what operations have occurred against specific data and by specific users. All logged events are analyzed to provide an initial dashboard of information. This dashboard shows capacity trending, which is what's being consumed and how it's changed over time. You can click on a given interval and find the file extensions which have contributed to either the growth or reduction in capacity over that window. The data age calculates the last time a file was modified and shows the percent of data at varying age ranges. Anomaly alerts show all file operations which exceed a given anomaly threshold, like the deletion of a large number of files are shown in this area of the dashboard. You can configure anomaly alerts to specify an event to monitor, to find a number and percentage of operations whether these operations were executed by, say, an individual or all users, and finally, a duration. Any group of events which cross these boundaries will be sent to any emails to find here. You can also track this activity over time on the anomalies dashboard. Permission denial events are the number of permission denials for specific users over the selected time range. These could indicate a ransomware or malware attempting to access a file system from a compromised system or user account. We also show file distribution by size and also file distribution by type, which details the amount of storage consumption represented by a given file category, such as log files, image files, Microsoft Office files, etc. We also show the most active users, either the top five, or you can expand this out to the top 50. Again, this is over a specified time range, the most access files, and also the most common file operations. To dig deeper into those file operations, we offer audit trails. Audit trails allow you to search for a specific file or a specific end user to find all activity for a given time frame. You can search for a given file or user based on wildcards. Once you select the file or user, the frequency and type of operation including the time they occurred, are displayed over your specified time period. You can further filter the audit trail based on operation type, such as read, write, delete, and other events. Once you filter the audit trail based on your requirements, you can export the data to either JSON or CSV for any further reporting requirements. File analytics helps you better understand how data is utilized by your organization to help you meet your data auditing, data access minimization, and compliance requirements. Thanks for watching.